Hello, hello, hello. And Elvis arrived just in time for his cat meow. Hello, Elvis. Goodbye, Elvis. Go on, scoot. Go, go open up a slider and go outside and play. <laughs> as we're just as I was hitting record, Elvis jumps up on the desk. Of course. Okay, guys, I am back. I am, I'm so jazzed about having this kit after all the suffering of thinking, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get it because again, the total package is sold out, but you can buy these pieces um, separately if there's certain parts that you do want or, or don't want, it's up to you guys. But I did want to go ahead and make the cards. I'm, I love all three of the sample cards. So I'm going to make a valiant attempt a la Mad Scrapper style of whipping this out. Let's see, because you guys know my capacity for whipping things out. I don't think so, but we're going to try. So I've already pulled out. I just want to show you guys real quick. I pulled out all the papers that are needed for all three of the cards, which are these pates right here. I've already pulled out all of the die cuts. I did change up one of the cards just because at first I realized, I go, wait a minute. Is there something missing here? I don't see some flowers. And the problem is that I did you guys a bit of a disservice. So I'm going to show you real quick now that I was a dork. Assuming that all the stickers were the same. Why? Because I'm a dork. But I should have opened this up. So let me show you. I want to show you that the stickers for this kit, they're all the sheets are different. So we have these, which are, you know, you have your little sentiments and just really, really cool. And then, of course, we've got all of our um, signs. But look at this. Look how pretty these are. These are the flowers that I see in the card. But I've decided not to use them. I was, cause that's, I was looking for those flowers, but hold on a second. Excuse me. I shoo. I shoo. Excuse me. Um, so I, I've decided not to use them. I went into a different direction just because I could, but I wanted you guys to see what comes in the sticker. There's four, four. Yeah, there's four sheets. So we have all of these, look at these, all of these sentiments that can be used on the cards. And then, oh my gosh look at this guys come on I, it's just like for what you get i mean i personally i mean and the if i'm not wrong the kit the kit the card kit is 38.50 i personally believe that is a good value for everything that i showed you guys that comes in that kit it's, I mean, if you don't like it, well, that's a whole other ball of wax. If it's not your, you know, it may not be your cup of tea. The card kits are not always my cup of tea, but lately they've been on a good streak with me. So, but I wanted you to show you that, but I'm going in a different direction with the, with the birthday card, but I wanted to show you. So I still, what I need to do now is bust out or break out, open them up. We're going to pull out our little dies because I have got to cut out backgrounds for two of the cards with these, I need the, ah, ah, I just stuck to adhesive that I put on a card because I thought, oh, I might be able to use this for the card. That's a whole different, that's a, another side story. Um, and I'll tell you about it later. Um, here if we do need the whole moon. So to get the whole moon, what do we do? We do the two pieces of the moon to get an entire moon. And one way or another, this puppy, it should fit, right? Yes, no, maybe. Because that's what I think is supposed to do. It's supposed they're supposed to fit together. So, right? Because that's what it looks like to me. It's done. Yep. So we're gonna figure this out, and we're gonna cut out. We need to cut out the shine, and we're gonna cut out a bunch of stars. I have decided this time for the sake of making this go quick. I'm not making a shaker. I know, shocking, right? But I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go and try to get this assembled as quickly as possible to show that even me, the slowest scrapper in the world, can do this, okay? So give me just a couple of minutes. I'm going to cut all of this up, all my back panels, and then die cut what needs to be die cut all um, off camera because you guys already know how to do this, okay? I And I have done it in a million videos, so I will just um, leave that, but I'll be right back. Give me just a few minutes, okay? Bye. Well, I am back, and I've done quite a bit of cutting of paper out here in varying degrees, but I got my top sheet here ready and I probably should have glued this down off camera it's not like you guys need to see me do this because this is like so such painstaking difficult intricate work hello unless it's me remember this is me you're talking to or listening to and I can make even the simplest tax seems insurmountable there we go we'll get that little flick off all I need to do is just lay down my base piece here on top of the card, line it up in one direction, 
trying to line it up in the other. This requires coordination and skill. Some things that I <laughs> am sometimes sorely lacking. Okay, so we've got this layer down, and this is for the for the first card. It's the first one I'm putting together at any rate. Now we've got these pieces. These two just are just glued down, one on top of the other. So I'm just gonna take um I'm gonna grab Mr. Barely Art here. And we're just going to very carefully just draw. There we go. Just I'm just gonna draw lines all over. And did I no, I think that's okay. It doesn't have to be like coverage all over just enough to get it to hold down. I think that's good. And the good thing is, this is really the reason why I chose Barely Art is because this is going to give me just a few seconds of play time to get the center. And that looks good. So I'm just going to press that down. And then I am ready for Damoon. And Damoon is in two pieces. And I really, really wanted, quite frankly, excuse me, to dimensionalize this. But I'm just having difficulty wrapping my mind around how to put down so that I, because I, I need to grab both pieces. So let's see, because I got a couple of these halves. So let's struggle for about five minutes and see if I can do that. Now, the whole point of that is to be able to now paper piece all of these in, which is not going to be fun, I think. But we're about to find out. So here, we're going to take this one, and it obviously goes there. I'll take my little lid off. And there we go. And that's literally what we're going to do. My God, what was I thinking? Okay, I'm back. I've got this. You know what it reminds me of? It's funny. It's supposed to be the moon, and I love it, but I swear to Pete, it reminds me of the Death Star. So I'm having a tremendous Star Wars moment in the middle of card making. But I'm going to go ahead. This goes right here, but I want to pop it up now because I'm in a very poppy mood right now. So we have a ton of cheap dimensional tape, so we are going to use it. So I'm just going to take it. I just don't want to pop it out a lot. But, and this one is of the, I have either, I could use the foam um, rectangles that I get at the 99 cent store, or I can just use this tape. And this one's a little bit tape, um, not, uh, doesn't pop up as much. And that works for me. I just want to dimensionalize it enough that it, there's a little bit of just, you know, a little bit of pop up. And that's just because believe it or not, guys, I ended up changing my mind. And I obviously, as you can tell, I'm not turning it into a shaker card. I just, I don't know, I, I don't really know really what these dies if I can or not, but I'm like, yeah, no. And, okay, this I have to cut, which will work. I'm just going to cut this in half. There we go. And that was a perfect landing. Wow. I put that right here. 
and I'm going to cut it in half again. Whoops. Because I am truly insane. Okay. And then cut it back a little bit. I don't know how that little flying piece will be picked up momentarily. And I'll put this other one. I'll do the same thing. Add my little dimensional tape here. Okay. We'll put it up here. I apologize for the movement. That was me sticking the tape to the arm, my, my arm, my camera arm. And I'm going to peel off all of these lovely little pieces of paper, which are such a pain to do. If I do it right, they come right up. But I tend to poke. There we go. See, if I don't, if I don't poke deeply, I just have to go in at an angle. There we go. It comes up. I'm learning. I'm learning. You know, bear with me, guys. And how about if we just do it that way? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I'm just going through the edge. Okay. So now I just have to lay this piece down. I'm going to center it up here, up on high, maybe you know, a little over a quarter of an inch down. Only because I want to have a little bit more space because I'm putting in a different sentiment. And there we go. It's not perfect. Let me see. Let me see if I haven't pressed it down too hard. Where is my spatula? It is not centered right. And I'm not going to deal with it. It's going to stay that way. There. We're done. <laughs> okay. Now let me grab the Death Star. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let me see if I can do this with tweezers better. There we go. Pull off. There we go. The tape. Yeah, maybe I should just use tweezers. I will admit that I'm very jealous when I see I see late YouTubers who can do this with just their pokey tool and pick it up. I am obviously not one of those spectacularly coordinated YouTubers. You are stuck with me. And we put the moon down right here. And then we have a bunch of stars that I took all the trouble to die cut. And I have a bunch of of foamies. I know dimensional in little tiny itty bitty squares for the little stars, which I hope will work. And then, oh my goodness, really? Are we stuck? Oh, there's another foam in there. And I'm having foam stuff sticking to me, so I'll put that up there too. Sorry. Let's open this up. Well, these are these I got at um from Scrap That at the expo. So I can take this larger star. Now all I'm going to do is just lay down these stars kind of, you know, willy-nilly. Not a whole bunch to pop out. And then let me grab. So let me lay this down. I have a mess here. If I just put these down, let's take that tape off. And he's just going to go right there. We are not going to overthink this as much as I love to do that. That's my favorite thing is overthinking. But we want to, oops, what we don't want to do is take the foam off. There we go. We want to take the tape off. If I do the bigger ones first, then I know where to put, I, then I could just fill in the space for the little ones. But oh my gosh, this tape is not fun to take off on these littler guys. But there we go. You will go there. We'll take this tape off. You are going to come down here. I'm going to right here have I want to use another one and I'm kind of like you know looking at the picture I have I don't need to do it identically I just you know I'm using it for a frame of reference because they give you the inspiration so hello you might as well use it right and then you can just also decide to fly and be free okay we'll pick that up I'm gonna put you right over here and now I like and now the fun now the fun begins because we're gonna go over these really tiny ones <laughs> Because this was a great idea. Let's see. Will it work? Here's the thing. These guys, and I just lost them. Where'd he go? I have a shooting star. I think even these are going to be too big. Although, I think I have circle ones. To, oh, there he is. I just found out where he went. Because this guy. Actually, if I pull, I mean, I think, let's see. This is going to take a little bit of skill. To get them on applied, let's see. And that's not going to work either. Okay, you know what we may have to do? These little guys. 
Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Hang on. Be right back. Okay, I confess, I didn't go the direction I thought I was going to go. I was going to go pull my Colau glue and apply it, but you know what I thought I would go, and I went and found, they were really handy, my little inky dinky round, the, and these are also from the expo. I get these from Scrap That, um, but they're really tiny, eeny, teeny, weeny, and they did work on the stars, so now, so I got them all applied. It took me a few minutes because it still took coordination that I lack sorely. And now I need to do the coordinating of taking these tapes off and putting and just laying these stars down. And I just dropped one already. Yeah, I, give me a second. I'm just going to do these off camera because you and I will be here for three days. If I'm doing, oh, no, wait, this one, this is the one I dropped. Oh, look. Well, that came apart. Good, easy. But I, what I'm going to do, I have seven of them. I'm going to lay them around. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I got seven little inky dinky stars and all these little wrappers off and applied. Oh, look, we've made progress. And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> I know, I'm crazy. Whoops, and I knocked things over too. <laughs> okay, now we get to the fun parts. And that is I have to glue these letters down because I'm going to put my little sentiment here. Shine. I'll go shine on. And I still have to also, I'm going to put down here, I'm going to put another one. So, but first I want to glue all these letters and you guys have seen me do this. So I'm going to do one on camera for anybody that's newish to my videos. This is when I, I like to dimensionalize these things. And a lot of people do it, just put the glue on their hand or they spend a lot of time painstakingly writing on these letters, which I think is insane. But, you know, who am I to judge, right? Because I am the mad scrapper. I'm crazier in the March hair. I just, what I do is I just use my lovely silicone mat here because everything comes right off. And I put the glue down on the mat and then I tap it into. And these letters, these are going to be easy. I'm, we'll see because this is like really skinny. But look, never mind. This has come together really, really easy. So grab that one, and then we'll grab our gold one. We don't need it to be super opposite, really easy, but now I'm catching it. I'm catching like, oh, no, 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 no. So give me a second. Let me take my tweezers and, pin and pincer that. And hopefully, I still can. It might, hopefully, the glue will let. Yeah, it's letting me. And that's why I use the Barely Art glue, because it gives me those extra crucial seconds I need and see, it's like I line it up and then I press it down and that's when it wants to move. So I think I've run out of adjustment time at this point. <clears throat> we're going to be okay with that. And we're now going to grab our gold one. And then we'll just lay that down also in the glue and just tap it in. Make sure there's plenty of glue on it. And then we will lay that on top of my ivory one. And we will just now press it down carefully and pay real close attention to what I'm doing. And just grab it and just squoodle it around with those seconds, those crucial seconds that I have. And there we go. And be a little bit more careful about how I press down. But there we have an S. Yay. Okay, so now I will come in and do the rest, which is... I have shine, I have the I-N-E of S-H, here's the H, and on, the O-N. So give me a second, I'll be right back. You guys don't need to see me, I just did one. I'll do the other, the rest off camera. Okay, I have got all my letters put together, and this is like, very sloppily just put on there, just because I was trying to figure out where they're, where to put it. I know on the on the sample card it's done kind of cattywampus, but I am not feeling it, and you guys know me, I feel cattywampus. But I'm not there. So I I think for what I want to do, and mind you, I'm also doing a different sentiment piece where it's just a little tiny guy over here on the sample card. I've decided I'm going to go with this from the stamp set. I'm going with this bottom one. So let me pull it out. And let me do one thing. I don't know if you guys have seen me. Some of you have seen me already do this. Others have not. How I keep these together is there we go i'm gonna grab my handy dandy tape and this is pretty lined up it doesn't have to be perfect and we're gonna pull off the first pieces all sticky gicky and we'll make that go away bye but i just take and then i have to do it again because i've still made a mess of it 
Ugh. I'm telling you, these crafts and projects that require coordination. Golly. <laughs> okay. All I do is I just grab the tape, the, um, this packing tape. I use, and use good quality tape. Do yourself a favor. And I just wrap it around. And now everything can be just pulled up real easily. You don't have to try to line it up every time. It is there for you. So I just do that so that way you don't lose. If you don't want to. Now, mind you, there's those of you, and many people do that. They save the back parts of these to use these for um, these pieces of the acetate. <clears throat> Excuse me. For shaker cards. But I, I'm, I'm in no shortage right now of acetate. So I'm not going to do that. But I do want to, we will do this. So hang on, I don't know why I'm placing it on the card because I'm a dingling. He said, this is side. I've already cut a piece of the blue down here. And now I'm just going to hold it down with my handy dandy little magnets. And I'm going to line this guy. This is the fun and easy part. Cutting it will be what makes me sweat. <laughs> Well, we all know, y'all know me. This is what's going to make me sweat. So I'm sorry. I think I went out of cam camera angle there again. I apologize for that. But I think I got it. So let's not sweat the details too much. The upside is I can now look at it. And because I have my line there on the misty, yeah, I did good. Who knew I could do that? Okay, I'm going to grab my Versamark and while I'm at it I need to grab my little my little tray here with a toothpick in it for God only knows what reason we're going to go ahead and ink up my stamp here do a good job of that and then we're just gonna stamp it down and press whoops press right there and that looks really good. I'm just going to give it one more hit just to be safe. Okay. Yep. We are good to go. Nice and juicy. Lay this down right here. We're going to grab gold embossing powder. And while I am doing that, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my gun so that it heats up. That look good. Looks good to me. I have, and I forgot to use my embossing buddy. Stupid should hurt, but that's okay. I have my little handy dandy tool here. That is even better than a paintbrush because it has that really refined, detailed tip. So there we go. Now we're going to come back here. I'm going to move this aside before I blow gold dust all over creation. And let's go ahead and let the magic happen. On this side so that it doesn't curl because it wants to curl. If you go on both sides, and there you are. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to grab our lovely Hande Dande. We are Memory Keeper. Maybe I should close my, my um, there we go, my Versa Mark. What do you guys think? Okay, so we are going to go ahead. And if I line it up, let me go in about a little tiny bit. There we go. Now here is going to be the not fun part. Is to line it up. And just pull it over just a little bit. And cross my fingers. That, that's good. Guys, I didn't cross my fingers and that worked. Yay! Doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be. You know, I always say that. Now I'm going to put a lid on my dust here before. Because I know, you guys know I'm going to knock this over. We'll put it there. 
and we're going to grab our one eighth inch. Actually, I think I can even make use. I think I have quarter inch in here, don't I not? Do I not? Yes, I do. Here it is. No, but that's not. I don't. I want to. I want to pop it out. So hang on. I have to go behind me and grab. I've apparently used a bunch of my quarter inch, but yep. I'm just going to grab some of my quarter inch tape and we'll add that right there. Trim that off. All righty. And then we're going to find our card wherever it is that we put it. And we have quite the mess going on here. We're going to be okay with that. But see, that was my plan is to put it there. And it almost looks like an optical illusion, like I think it is even, but I swear to me, to my eyes, it looks like it's a little bit wider on this end than this end, but we're going to let it go. I may be just over, over analyzing it. But now we're going to lay down our strip. Move it a little bit, make sure we center it as best we can. One second. And there we go. That was the easy part. We have to now get shine on on here. That is going to take a little finagling, just a little bit of widgeting. We got our shine. And on. Oh, let me set back. And I could sit here and move it around all I want, but the, I have to still lift it up again. But I can visually. There we go. Kind of take a visual on what pieces of the pattern is there so that I can get it. And there, I pulled the glue off. And all is well. I'm just gonna come back here now and grab these guys, because I'm gonna take a couple of these. And I am gonna take a piece of the genius, so we're gonna take, where are my little tweezers? Yeah, we're gonna grab and just scatter a few of these around our card. So grab this guy and put him over here and not overthink it as no matter how desperately I want to do it. I mean, I'm going to go to opposite corners, that one, and then I'm going to grab a little one. Go down here and you when you do these whenever you do embellishments usually it's like the law of three or the law of five but you what you want to lay down no matter what you want to lay down an odd number so we'll get this one who doesn't want to come off the tweezers you know now it wants to stick to me <laughs> put that We go and I want to put some right here. So I'm going to grab, a, do I really want to grab a great, great big one? I'm going to grab this one here. And we'll grab it and we'll put it right there. And this guy, he's a little bit smaller. And then a teeny tiny one just because. I'm going to put that down here. And then I want to add some up here too. So I'm going to grab, grab one here. And another little one. And we're going to lay it down right there. And what do you guys think? I'm going to put, you know what? I can't help it. I want to, I want to use this big one. I want to use it on this card. So I'm with this great big one right there. So 
the three, six, nine, ten. I am in an even number, but I have them in odd number groupings. So, but, and so I'm going to call it good. Let me really quick wipe this glue puddle before I put my, lay my card right in the middle of the puddle. Because you guys know I'm going to do that. And there we go. That's the first one of the three cards. And I plapped it together. It took a little bit longer because I had to do a lot of die cutting. And let's not lie. It's, it's a little, the die cutting can be time consuming. But I love it. I'm really, really happy. I love the little, the firefly look or the little moths. I'm not sure what they are. And then the, the moons. It's just, I really like it. So give me just a minute. I'll be back and we're going to put those other two cards together. All right. Be right back. <laughs> 